project for science. It's about the life cycle of stars and stuff. I hope I get a good grade on this because bro I have a green screen. I just bought like four poster boards. Exposed. So yeah I got four cheap poster boards from Walmart that are bright green. I was like bro I could use for a green screen but I'd have a great grade. And so Mr. Cravens when you're watching this please give me a good grade. I spent a lot of time on this. I did tons of editing so you wouldn't have to watch me stutter every second and I bought a green screen so I'd have an amazing background and show you the stars and I wrote a script right here. anyway let's get started we live in a gigantic and milky way galaxy in our galaxy we have billions and billions of stars some even make up constellations but have you ever wondered what the life cycle of a star is? Well, here you go. A star's life cycle is determined by mass. The larger mass, the shorter life cycle. A star's mass is determined by the amount of matter in the nebula. This is the first stage. The nebula is a cloud of dust and gas floating in space. These can be found inside galaxies, and they are the birthplace of stars. The next stage for the first cycle is an average star. This is just like our star, the sun. During this stage, the star becomes denser. The heavy elements move to the core of the star, while the lighter ones move up into the atmosphere. Once the outer atmosphere cools, it becomes a red giant. Red giant. This is when the star expands and begins to glow red. Then eventually, boom! Supernova. This blows the outer atmosphere away and it becomes a planetary nebula. All of the flames have gone out and there isn't much left. This is a heavy ball of elements that becomes a white dwarf star. Eventually it will become a black dwarf and will die out. The next cycle again starts with the nebula and then becomes a blue giant. This expands into a red supergiant and then it starts to increase in brightness because of a huge explosion and all of the star's ma matter is rapidly expelled. This can either turn into a black hole or a neutron star. A black hole has a gravitational field so intense that nothing can escape, not even light. A neutron star has a small radiance and high density. They are thought to form by the gravitational collapse of the star after the supernova explosion. This is the life cycle of a star. The sources I used are in the description. I hope you enjoyed, especially you, Mr. Cravens. Bye! Wow, that was so